Hello, how's it going? My name's Ross Plasco. Welcome to a very fast tutorial about your basic walk cycle, but we're going to be using rubber hose. It's a, a very simple rigging tool for doing walk cycles. I'm going to go through this like a madman now. Uh, new composition. Composition. New composition. Okay, 1000 by 1000, 25 frames a second. Actually, let's just put it down to 15 frames a second, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's zoom in. Uh, I'm just going to highlight uh, one second because a, uh, uh, a walk cycle is usually around one second. Um, B and N to uh, do that. I, I, actually, I, do, I don't have time. There's no time to explain shortcuts. Here we go. Come on, 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 come on. First, I'm going to make a body. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to get the pen tool. I'm going to uh, shortcut G. No, no, no time. Uh, re uh, name that body. I'm going to uh, get rid of the fill. Make that uh, really wide. Use the butt capper tool and make a round cap. There we go. I'm going to uh, widen it, widen it, widen it, widen it, widen that. Okay, there is the body. I'm going to use Y. I'm going to go and make the anchor point at the bottom of the body. Then I'm going to duplicate this body. Call it head. I'm going to move the head up, 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 to where the head is. I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to do scale. I'm going to uh, down to about uh, this big. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And then I'm going to parent it to the body. Now I have my head and the body. Now I'm going to uh, move the body up and down. Here we go. Uh, P for position. Make a keyframe there. Make a keyframe in the middle. Make a keyframe at the end. Make two more keyframes, one in between each of these. So eventually you have one, two, three, four, five keyframes. Highlight the the second one and the fourth one. And then move it up, let's say. And then we're going to highlight all of them, F9, and uh, that's easy, easy. Here we go. And he's he's moving up and down twice in one second. Excellent. Let's make a foot. Here we go. Uh, G. Uh, draw this. Call this left foot. I'm going to make it quite thick, uh, about that thick, get rid of the fill, uh, use butt capper to round it. Now I'm going to do one foot at a time. Uh, P for position, I'm going to click on position, I'm going to right click on position, I'm going to click separate dimensions. Now let's change the anchor point to the ankle, uh, Y, move it there. Now it will rotate from here, it will rotate from the ankle instead of rotating from up there. Uh, a keyframe for the X at the beginning, a keyframe for the X at the end, a keyframe for the X in the middle. Whoa, what are we going to do here? We're going to move the foot over here. Now the foot moves forwards and backwards. Fantastic. It's a little bit closer to the body, we're going to move it down. That's fantastic. When you pull your foot forward, that's when your foot goes up. Keyframe for the Y. Keyframe for the Y over here in the middle when it lands. In the middle of these two keyframes, we're going to make it go up. And we're going to easy ease these two keyframes because it, uh, when you lift up your foot, it starts slowly, gets faster, and then once your foot gets into the air, it slows down, and then it accelerates towards the ground at full speed, and it never slows down until it hits the floor. So uh, let's uh, easy ease those. Oh, that looks fantastic. I'm also going to ease out of that one and ease in to this one because when you pull your foot forward, you start off slow, you get faster in the middle, and then you slow down when your foot gets to the front. You're going to have a nice curve right there. Let's see how that looks. Oh, fantastic. This looks kind of robotic, doesn't it? Uh, bodies actually move slower than the feet, so I want to delay this, but if I move all the keyframes to the right, then there's nothing back here, so it looks a little bit strange. Uh, what I can do is I can alt Click on here. I'm going to do an expression called loop in. Very similar to loop out, but uh, does the opposite. I'm going to type it loop, capital I, N, bracket, uh, speech mark, cycle. Speech mark again, N bracket. There we go. It's, it's, it's basically got all these keyframes, but it's got them uh, before it. Uh, we're going to do the rotation of the foot. Here we go. Ah, as it's moving up, we want the foot to be touching the floor oh oh the uh, the um the toe goes down into the floor that uh, that's not a good sign is it let's uh let's just make it like that now it's just touching the floor as it goes up we want it uh, to rotate that way clockwise when it's about to hit the floor we want it rotated backwards then two frames forward we want it on zero Highlight all of these except for the last one, and easy ease. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. Look how fantastic that looks. I'm going to make some keyframes at the end here. It's a perfect loop. 
then I'm going to copy and paste this loop in uh, expression. Alt, click, paste, loop in cycle, alt, click, paste, alt, click, paste. I'm going to duplicate this foot, call it right foot. Now, because it's got the loop in expression, I can move these keyframes over here. And there'll be uh, keyframes back here because the expression is there. There we go, you've got two feet moving right there. They're very big feet, aren't they? Let's uh, change the size of them. Hey, uh, pick whipping is very interesting. Why don't you double click? Let's pick whip the path of the left foot. That's uh, alt and click on the stopwatch. Then we're going to grab the pick whip, pick whip it to here. That means whatever we do to this path is what happens to the other one. We're going to shrink this foot. You see they're both shrinking. Fantastic, wonderful. Uh, we're going to pick whip the stroke width to uh, this stroke width. So if we change the stroke width here, it's going to change the stroke width of the other one. But it's uh, the the center of the cycle isn't um, isn't one hundred percent good. Anyway, uh, we'll sort that out later. Let's add a couple of legs, rubber hose, hip, ankle. Click new rubber hose. Take the ankle. Take it down to uh, the uh, the correct position. I'm guessing this is the left foot. Yeah, this is the left foot. Uh, go to the hip. Put hip here. Parent the hip to the body. Parent the ankle to the left foot. Highlight ankle. Go into effects. Hose length. Reduce it. Bend radius uh, zero percent. Give it a knee. Realism. I don't know, like thirty, thirty percent, whatever. Get rid of some of the length. This looks great. The foot maybe can bend down uh, a little bit more as it's going. Ooh, when it's up here, maybe it should be bent down quite far. Like this. Or maybe not like that. Um, yeah, a little bit, a little, a little bit less. Maybe it needs to. There we go. Look at that. Now I'm going to copy and paste uh, these keyframes onto the other foot as well. Oh, for God's sakes. Um, uh, uh, just delete all of those keyframes, make a new one, and paste there. There we go. Now they're both doing exactly the same thing. Let's get another leg for the other one. I'm just going to uh, hide those. Maybe move the hose to the bottom. Uh, I guess um, the right foot needs to be behind it as well. Maybe I'll make the, the, the hose black. Uh, where, how do you affect the uh, color of a hose? Get out of here! change the color of the hose to black. Look at that. Looks fantastic. I'm going to duplicate this hose. I'm going to go to ankle. Manage. Actually, no. You just uh, you highlight the hose. Manage. Uh, times two. Now you've got another hose. Move the hose to the back. Uh, attach the ankle to the other foot. Uh, this one's attached to the left foot. We're going to attach it to the right foot. Where is it? Where is it? There it is! I'm going to also change the position of the ankle to... Uh, coincide with the right foot. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. It looks like he's leaning forward maybe a bit, so all we have to do is get the position of the body and move him back. Highlight all of the keyframes, of course. Well, that's a very reasonable walk cycle. Very reasonable indeed. Let's get a couple of arms. Just doing your basic thing here. Just doing, just doing the basic. Uh, maybe I'll make the arms a different color so that you can see them better. Uh, green. Um, thicker. Thicker. Thicker! Um, round. Change the... Fuck! Change the uh, anchor point to the top. Maybe I'll change it to a dark gray. There we go. You get your rotation here. 
make it rotate that way. Make it rotate that way. And then the last keyframe should be the same as the first. Easy ease. Do another expression. Let's do a loop in again. Oh, and it's not parent into anything. Brilliant. Uh, parent to the body. Maybe move it around, see, see, see what looks good. Duplicate this, call it left arm, duplicate, take it to the bottom, call it right arm, uh, offset the rotation, just like that. Change the expression to loop out, because there, there needs to be keyframes here, not before it. Out. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. Mm. Look at that walk cycle. Now, this is a very, 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 very basic walk cycle. You can obviously do anything that you want. Design your character any way that you want. Move the head, move the... Rotate the body. You know, have some joins in the arms. But um, this is how you do it. This is, this is your starting point. Good luck. And uh, above all, have fun. Make a fun design, way better than this, and, uh, you know, uh, just go crazy. Just go crazy with it.